So women of a different nationality tend to be more submissive than black women. And because of that reason, our black men are going to those different nationalities to find a woman, find a wife, right? So in my personal opinion, I just feel like those women know where they come from, right? They know their culture. They're taught their culture. And within that culture, it's taught to them that you're supposed to be submissive to your man. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. That is not up for negotiation nor debate. That's just what it is, right? Right, absolutely. And I agree with that statement that she just made 1000%. Why is it that today's black women with the modern woman mindset, they're always arguing and trying to debate about submission? This is very plain and simple. The reason why black men, they're looking elsewhere is because way too many black women refuse to cooperate. They wanna debate and argue over the most simple things, cooking, cleaning, being respectful, carrying yourself the right way, listening to your man, being under the authority and leadership of a man, being covered by a man so that you get that protection that you're always talking about you need. It's still very annoying that we even have to have conversations like this about the basic dynamics of a relationship. We're talking about the basic prerequisites for a working, healthy, long-term relationship. It's crazy the amount of time that's spent on that when the whole process should come naturally. But that's what happens when you have rebels that's constantly trying to push back on how things are supposed to be. We all know the order and the orders. It's just that some of us want to follow them and the other ones rebel. Shout out to Joseph for sending this video in of this sister right here. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell. Won't waste any time. Let's go ahead and hop back into it. In being a woman being a black woman living in america right we know that we are african americans right however what is our culture we're not taught african culture so what is our culture what are we being taught here right in america what are we being taught and if you're raised in a single parent household most women see their mom as independent they're taught to be independent you're taught to be dominant you're taught to take care of yourself and by any means necessary you're not taught to be submissive there's no one there's no one in the household that your mom is being submissive to so you don't see that so when she's raising you she's teaching you what she knows and being submissive is not one of them there was a time when it was a part of black American culture for women to be submissive to their men. You do have black households where mom and dad got married. They saw all of this. Grandmama was married to granddaddy. Great grandmama was married to great granddaddy. Great great grandmama was married to great great granddaddy. This goes back well over a hundred years. The problem that we've been seeing for the last three, four decades is the growing number of single parent homes led by women. Those women growing up in households with only mama, they are taught to be strong and independent. Ladies, it's a lot of your mamas that messed you up in the head. So now it comes down to everybody's throwing up and that's why the black men is going to different. Okay. Okay. I, I have no argument for that. It is what it is. And we gotta be honest, there's no way around it. It's true. Decent black men, they are not going to accept these terms and conditions. And I'm talking about the condition, the mindset of the modern black woman. I've been saying this for the longest. You can't mold stale bread. You're not going to change them. There's no way to change these women once they hit 30. And for a lot of them now, even by the time they're in their late 20s, it's too late. They're already set in their ways. They're already programmed and you're not going to be able to mold them. So you got to do what you got to do. What you don't do is accept a bad deal. However, I have no problem with being submissive, but that is something that we are not taught. So you have to teach yourself that. You have to educate yourself on that. And not every man is going to be worth you being submissive to. And see, this is where we get into that chameleon talk. A lot of modern women, when they want to act like they're flexible or they're willing to cooperate, they love to say things like, we don't know what to do. We didn't learn. We have to educate ourselves. Educate yourself on what? It's really not that hard. It's very easy. Listen. That's it. Listen. Stop talking and listen. You have to be taught respect. You have to be taught order. These are basic principles that you all already know. Y'all just don't want to do it. 
And then they love to say that every man doesn't deserve submission. Yeah, the men you can't submit to, you don't date them and you don't talk to them, you don't interact with them at all. You don't go on dates with them, you don't waste their time or their money. Because from day one, you're looking for him to protect and provide for you. You're looking for him to open up his wallet and spend money on you on dates. You're looking for him to step in and handle it and take control of a situation if danger came your way. It doesn't matter if it's the first time you met him. You expect him to cover for you. Just being a man. That's the basics, right? But as a woman, you don't know the basics. That's BS. You don't want to do the basics. You know exactly what to do. You don't want to do it. You only want to do it when you feel like doing it. That's why y'all like to make it seem like submission and femininity is some switch that you just turn on and turn off. No, you're either a submissive, cooperative, feminine woman or you're not. And if you're dating a man who you believe isn't deserving of you and the true essence of you, then whose fault is that for picking that guy? He don't. He just don't deserve it. The same way that y'all would say a woman <clears throat> gotta earn this and she gotta prove herself on this and that and that. And that. That's the same thing with men. Not everybody is gonna be worth you being submissive to. And because you were submissive to one guy and he wasn't worth it, he didn't deserve it, he didn't appreciate it, he didn't even know what to do with it, doesn't mean that you should not be submissive to the next man who is doing everything he's supposed to do. I don't know. I could be wrong, but y'all let me know. But I said what I said. That's just what it is. I really agree with most of what she said. The biggest thing I would say I would disagree on is the conditional femininity. As I stated before, even on the first date, these women are expecting Ruth Chris, STK, on date number one. And we've talked extensively about these expectations already. Modern women just want all the rewards without having to submit to a man's authority. They want a man's protection, when by the way, it's their mouths that get them into most of the trouble they get into, but they don't want to follow the man. They say things like they have to be married before they can submit, like no one's buying that con game. You didn't have to be married before you had relations, and a large majority of them didn't have to be married even before giving a man a baby. But to respect a man and make sure that you're in your place, you have to be married for that? And then we wonder why only one out of four will ever experience that. This is why. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Why is it that black women believe that these basics are negotiable? And do you think it's too late for black women as a group, the ones with that mindset? Is it too late for them to catch up? Special thank you to Felix. I appreciate you, Felix, for all of your support, as well as Smoke Jensen. Thank you, Smoke Jensen, Dark Power, and Sir Shy. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.